So I wanted to share how I would use the cards uh, to read for myself. Uh, if you follow me on YouTube, you may notice that the last sort of week I haven't shared as many videos. Basically, we rent uh, in the UK. I'm a single mum with four kids and currently the uh, roof is leaking in two places and the heating isn't working either. So a little bit anxious at the moment about my house. So I've really shuffled the cards and what's really important about a reading like this is the question. OK, the question is so important. If you're new to this, it is worth writing the question down. If I'm working for a client, I always mind map to get the question right. The question I've asked as I shuffled and cut the cards is what do I need to know about my rental property, my home for the next three months? months so people always ask about timing putting the timing into the question is the best way to deal with this so i have shuffled and i've cut the deck already and it's a really simple spread because i like simple spreads the first three cards is the current situation and the past up to this point where am i now with my house and my landlord we've got the star it's interesting <laughs> don't feel very hopeful uh but actually it's a good house for me I'm very blessed. I'm allowed to work here. It's beautiful countryside around. Compared to other properties, it's quite affordable. Um, I don't see myself living here forever, but I would like to live here for another three years. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles. So what I want you to know about the this first row, row of three cards is you should be able to validate them. OK, that's how you know your reading is accurate, by starting with something you can validate. Queen of Pentacles, mum, this house works well for me as a mother. It really does. If I didn't have my kids, I don't think I'd live here. But as a mother, it is a good house for my children. And the Ace of Swords is um, communication, clear communication. It is also um, a, a feeling of strength and adversity. So I have had to now send some very um, clear emails to the letting agent expressing them to them that the situation is unworkable as it is. So that feels right for me. The next layer is the the present moment with advice. So if we think about um, time, this represents everything up to and including now. So these three cards are advice as to how to best navigate this because the present moment is the only place where we can actually make a difference and the future is not fixed. So having advice is definitely really important. So the Nine of Pentacles, not my favourite card. I know loads of you out there love it. But the Nine of Pentacles is about gathering my resources. Look at those pentacles lined up. And it's about determination and being on top of the game. These, despite what people may think, are not my best talents. Um, I'm very intuitive. I'm very right brain. So this is about being organised and being on top of everything. The Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, actually in this situation, I think would refer to anger. And I am angry. And I'm very anxious about expressing anger because the um, relationship between a tenant and the landlord is heavily weighted in the landlord's favour. Um, so I am very anxious about being angry. And this would suggest that I need to be a bit more forceful in my communication. King of Wands is an interesting one. This is advice. This would suggest to me, and when we read for ourselves, the cards have a personal meaning as well as the traditional meanings. So the King of Wands, I think on the one level, may represent my ex-husband. I have actually asked him to do a couple of bits around the house, which I haven't asked him to do in three years. I think it also represents me needing to do more personal work on myself. This is triggering a lot of anxiety in myself. The King of Wands can be the shaman. The King of Wands can be the visionary leader. My skill set what is in the non-physical world and spiritual healing. So a reminder, I think, that I need to do that for myself right now. So that's useful. And now perhaps, and I haven't looked at these cards, so... The bit that I'm really anxious about. This represents the future as yet unformed. So the future's not 
set in stone. And I set a premise that this reading was for the next three years. So we've got the Six Pentacles. That would suggest the Six Pentacles is controlling, but also taking control. There was a feeling, I think, there that I can stay here for the next the next three years, but I'm going to need to be very controlled about how I do that. I'm going to have to be quite focused on getting the work done and perhaps stay ahead, use the right language, if we link that to the Ace of Swords, to let make it clear to the landlord that I understand that basically he's broken a lot of rules at the moment, which, which he has. But I can't be certain till I've done the other two cards. They will add the clarity that I need. Okay, we've got the Hermit. Now, the Hermit is going to be very often in a spread like that. There is obviously the link to the spirituality here. It may suggest that I need to do some work with my guides. And whenever I've had readings with other spiritual people about this, they always say your guides won't allow you to be homeless, which is a lovely thing to say. But we live in the physical world. So a feeling that I need to work with my guides on this. But I think the Hermit could also be um, an advisor. So a feeling that I'm probably going to need to reach out and get um, either either help from shelter or somebody who's more experienced in this area of dealing with the landlord than myself. And that is very nice to see the deep sigh of relief. The sun is feeling safe. Now, in this spread, it's really simple. To me, the middle line is the most important line. The middle line shows you your classic um, past, present, future. And the cards either side are adding depth. They're adding nuances. And I know, and I'm going to do a, a video on um, how to read the cards without reverses, but that's one of the things that people often ask me. It is the interplay between the three cards that lets me know and in particular, I mean, the star is so positive, it's it's hard to have a negative for that. But the six pentacles could have been negative. It could have been the landlord is taking control. The landlord is working to push me out of this house. It really could have been like that. But the sun is such a positive card of safety and security, particularly when I've asked about home. And the Hermit is a card of um, guidance, so a feeling that I can get the right guidance, and I've already I've got people reaching out to help me, to ensure that I can control this situation well. And now I see the Six of Pentacles is me taking control, not the landlord. The card at the bottom of the pack is always worth looking at. I mean, literally, you just flip the card up and have a look. We have the Five of Swords. To me, the Five of Swords is about, it is about arguments. And we are arguing, believe me, with my, my landlord's letting agents, agents. It is about dispute. But it's also a card of not taking things personally. And when I think about the King of Wands and sort of visionary leader, and I think about the Knight of Wands and anger, I have been taking this person. It's my home. It's my children's home. So I have been taking it personally. So the feeling there is don't take it personally. So I've done this reading blind. I had not looked at the cards. I am incredibly grateful to see such positive outcome cards. The Six of Pentacles is a neutral outcome card, but with the sun next to it, it's incredibly positive. Looking at perhaps the most important cards in this reading is the central one. It is the Nine of Pentacles. And it is the card to represent advice for right now and how I best manage this situation. So to me, that's the most important card. So I'm curious. Um, I've picked up my book and I am flicking through it. I don't normally I read with my uh, Kindle because it's got the interactive um, index in it. So let's have a look what I said about the nine of pentacles in my book. I'm um, just flicking through to the right page. Here we go. Nine of Pentacles. OK, in a reading. Keep focused and working hard. It will be worth it. 
excellent. Material success, an excellent card for anything work or finance related. We could argue that this is finance related because it's to do with um, with work. And uh, a card of resilience, hard work and getting done whatever needs to be done. So, yeah, that fits for me and I'm really glad if you want to pick up a copy of my book you can get it direct from me from my website particularly if you're in the UK uh, if you're worldwide Amazon might be easier and you can also get an e-copy on Amazon as well